The action-adventure movie Extraction stars Chris Hemsworth. He portrays Tyler Rake, a man with a don't-care attitude who excels at his profession of kicking butt. Extraction is directed by Sam Hargrave, with Joe Russo, who also served as screenwriter for Avengers, Endgame and Avengers, Infinity Wars, and Hemsworth serving as producers. The film is getting a lot of attention because of its extraction conclusion, which is equally menacing and gloomy as the rest of the picture. Tyler embarks on a journey to free Ovi Mahajan Jr., who is being held captive by Bangladeshi drug lord Amir in the movie Extraction. The largest drug lord in India is Ovi's father, who is currently in prison. Saju, the henchman of Ovi Mahajan SR, was entrusted with the care of the elder Mahajan. The moment Tyler and Ovi JR meet, the suspense builds non-stop. Before viewing Extraction 2, have a look at this summary of the original Extraction film. Extraction spoilers, if you haven't watched it yet, go back. We're about to enter the realm of major spoilers. The Extraction's final stage. Tyler is able to get Ovi to the exchange spot. But OVSR sends Saju to kidnap Ovi so he may escape paying the ransom. It results in a protracted conflict. Tyler triumphs and flees with Ovi in tow. Tyler's partner Nick warns him that leaving Ovi will put the youngster in danger of death and that she can bring him to safety and out of Dhaka. Tyler is unable. Instead, he requests assistance from a buddy, Gaspar. When they go to Gaspar's house, Tyler and Ovi start to become closer. He talks about how he had to leave his kid for a third tour of duty in Afghanistan because he couldn't bear to see his six-year-old son suffer from cancer. Tyler finds out that Gaspar intends to murder Ovi in order to collect a $10 million prize after the poignant moment. Ovi shoots Gaspar during the altercation to protect Tyler and himself. Tyler then makes the decision to contact Saju so they can collaborate to save Ovi. The two guys battle openly with police as they attempt to flee the city, which is under lockdown as per Amir's instructions. After Saju is killed, Ovi crosses the bridge to get Nick, but Tyler is shot in the side of the neck by ambitious youngster Farhad, who works for Amir. Tyler, who is badly hurt and bleeding, plunges off the bridge into the river. Ovi and Nick leave the city for safety while boarding a chopper. Months later, Nick murders Amir by locking himself in a bathroom with him. Jumping ahead, Obi is now back in his lonely existence, but he has gained a newfound feeling of fearlessness. He dives into a pool and sinks to the bottom before coming to the surface. Standing close, just out of focus in the distance, is a mystery figure. Obi's phrase regarding drowning. We need to go back to the incident where Tyler informed Ovi about his son before determining whether the figure was Tyler. Following Tyler's heartfelt confession to Ovi, the youngster quotes something to him. This passage was written by Paulo Silho. Everyone suffers, however, in my interpretation of the statement, that doesn't make us go insane. The inability to endure the suffering is what destroys our souls and spirits. To allow it to drown us, either physically or symbolically, Ovi now has the opportunity to say, yeah, what happened was terrible, but you can still survive and live. You just have to decide to stop drowning. Additionally, it may portend Tyler's future. Tyler, is he dead? The short response is that it's up to you. Hemsworth and Hargrave admitted that the film's original finale caused some friction when it was originally shown to a test audience. So they kind of left the conclusion open-ended to kind of pacify everyone. Let's present an argument on either side as there isn't a definite yes or no about Tyler's demise. Will we? He's gone. In the beginning of the film, Tyler was a damaged man, driven by two missions. The first included rescuing Ovi from his captors, and the second involved passing away. Nick notes that Tyler is no longer concerned. He longs for death. Tyler is seen in a number of situations when he may be murdered, but he always faces death without flinching. If you think Tyler's job was accomplished after he made sure Ovi made it across the bridge safely, then he may now accept his last objective, death. The loss of Tyler's son haunts him. He glimpses his kid intermittently throughout the film, but at the time of his alleged demise, he clearly sees him. This may represent him finding peace at last and joining his son in heaven. He's at last earned his happy ending with his child and can move on with his life. The enigmatic figure is really a spirit-like representation of Tyler encouraging Ovi to keep fighting and surviving, rather than Tyler himself. Any male may also pass for the figure, maybe Ovi SR, has bodyguards now, keeping an eye on Ovi. The reason the figure may be calling Ovi is that it is time for him to securely accompany the man home. He's alive. Tyler is still alive if you believe his task to be unfinished. At the beginning of the movie, Tyler's goal was to free Ovi and collect payment. By the movie's finale, he has formed a close relationship with him. After Nick urges him to leave Ovi in the street, his first priority is to keep him safe before shifting to getting him home. However, in a scenario between Tyler and Gaspar, Gaspar claims that Ovi is a living corpse. No matter what, Ovi's father will always be a threat to his life. This time, he might manage to survive, but there will still be threats. By killing Amir, Nick removes the immediate threat to Ovi. Farad may, however, become a new drug lord as a result of his ruthlessness and ambition. Who knows how many of Ovi's are? S opponents are still alive even if Amir and his followers are gone. Although it's not Tyler's responsibility to ensure Ovi has a long life, it may be. In many ways, Tyler sees Ovi as his atonement for being absent when his kid passed away. 
Perhaps while he is drowning and dying in the river, Obi's phrase enters his mind. While a result, he fights back and accepts a new mission to continue to defend Ovi. Ovi also mentioned his father's lack of genuine concern for him. Perhaps Tyler thinks that the real objective should be to aid Ovi in leaving this world and finding a new one rather than returning him to this chilly abode. I'm not suggesting that he's attempting to adopt Ovi, but it's possible that he wants to move him away from his father and support the creation of a new life in another location. The man at the conclusion may have been Tyler beginning his quest to assist Ovi in leaving India and beginning a new life. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.